Greetings, human creatures. Welcome back to the show. I'm John Warlock, and today's box is Threads. So it's going to be a very, very quick unboxing. Threads, or as I like to call it, the Star Trek box. If you're wondering why I'm saying that, the last few threads, as in a lot of the threads, have just had a t shirt and a Star Trek graphic novel. Which isn't bad, but it's always a Star Trek graphic novel. So hopefully, they kind of done away with them, and maybe we're back to getting just random graphic novels, which will make me very happy. The details for Threads are as follows. It is the Threads box from Zavi. It is £9.99 per month. You get one t-shirt and one graphic novel. And that is all you need to know about this box. £9.99, graphic novel, t-shirt. Bang, money's worth. T-shirt, tenner, graphic novel, tenner, 20 quid, 10 pound, boom. Let's just hope it's not Star Trek. Right, push the box over here out of the way, and we'll grab the first item, which is the t-shirt. And the t-shirt is... Na 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 Batman. The Dark Knight. Ooh, oh, that's quite nice. Say so it's quite nice, but then I've sort of had second thoughts. But there we go. Batman. And you can see his face, and it's sort of... Well, it's white and grey, isn't it? Sort of a grey-scale t-shirt. And the bomb, the Dark Knight, and the Bat Signal. I quite like that. I thought it was some sort of random cubist art or something at first, but it's just white lines over Batman's face, so it's sort of like alternating the colours. It's actually a nice design, but as you can see from this, because it's white on grey, it doesn't show up brilliantly. That's a really nice design, but it would look so much better on like black or blue, or even something like red. Even yellow, I don't think it would matter, but grey it doesn't quite work, but I like the idea, and it is official Batman DC, so that's interesting. Of course, Batman, recently played by Ben Affleck, who has now stepped aside, ready for Robert Pattinson. Actually, I can't mock Robert Pattinson, I saw him in some indie films. He was really good, so maybe he won't be the moody, rubbish actor that he was in Twilight, and he likes to be the really good actor he seems to have been recently in all the indie flicks. But I don't know, when Heath Ledger was announced as Joker, everyone went, Heath Ledger? Really? Turns out he was amazing. So who knows, it could be fantastic. But as always, t-shirts, about a tenner. Item two, deep breath. Could be a Star Trek book. Could be about to lose my mind. Although someone said there is an item in here I would really like. But then I know you lot. Some of you will go, ha, ah, it's a mug, ha, ah, it's a Star Trek book. Knowing that I'd hate it. Maybe, maybe it's a t-shirt with a mug on. That would be like the ultimate troll. Anyway, item two. It's a graphic novel. Please don't be Star Trek, please don't be Star Trek. Oh, it's not Star Trek and I haven't read it. Road to Rebirth, Superman, The Final Days of Superman. I've never read this, so that's pretty cool. I've said before, my mom, huge fan of Superman, so she'll probably read this before I will. The greatest hero this world has ever known is dying. He's always dying though. Has he ever actually died? I have to keep asking this because people never seem to know. Does he ever die? Can he die? Does he die? He doesn't die, does he? He's invincible. Yeah. Superman's body is failing him. Something, something, alongside something, and other stuff. Yeah, it's a graphic novel worth, blimey, $29.99. So like 14, 15 quid, maybe 16. That's all right. It's hardback as well, which is pretty decent. They're not always hardback books, so there's a good thing. Okay, let's see what it says. With his final days upon him, the Man of Steel reaches out to his loved ones and most trusted allies to say his goodbyes. Yet while he does so, the world is greeted by new threats, a dangerous being alive with fire, who insists to Lois Lane and anyone else he meets that he is the one true Superman and a black clad man whose appearance and mir powers mirror those of Superman himself. Actually sounds really cool. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not the hugest fan of Superman simply because he's just invincible and I don't see the point in invincible characters. It's just like, why bother supporting him? But there you go. Uh, there's no one playing Superman right now. It's a Henry Cavill has sort of stepped aside because his argument with DC was really weird. And that's it. I hope they, honestly, right, here's my thing. I hope they bring back someone like Dean Kane. Bring back someone who was Superman, slightly older, and have like a mature Superman who's like settled down and stuff. Let's see what he's doing now. I don't need to see his origin 45,000 bloody times. I'm sick of origin films. I'm just saying, we know who Superman is. We know all the stuff. Give us something new. Anyway, Superman book, uh, probably like 14 to 16 quid. So that is the Threads box, 9.99, unless there's any discounts or links down below in the description. Let's see everything we had for December's box. The Dark Knight Batman t the final days of Superman graphic novel. As I said, simple enough, 9.99. Thankfully, no Star Trek book. Thank you, Zavi Gods, you are fantastic. 14 to 16 quid graphic novel. 
10 pound maybe more t-shirt so that's 26 quid 999 box boom done fantastic brilliant still the best value box out there so let me know your thoughts on that threads box what was good what was bad what could be better i mean there's only two items but let me know anyway also what should they do with the next superman film and will robert Pattinson be any good as batman kind of curious to hear your thoughts anyway don't forget like subscribe hit the notifications head over to patreon if you're aiming the credits which are probably running up down below get your own mystery box and all that kind of stuff as well but most importantly be happy be free keep it awesome and i will catch you next time Bye bye